guarantee you they're going to flag this video like YouTube is not going to pay me for this video basically me telling y'all that they censoring folks What's up cousins? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your very first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Amber and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave so that you can join the family. Oh, let me just go ahead and say if you clicked on this video thinking that this video is about to be a bash of some YouTubers that you just couldn't wait or you've been waiting to bash or you just thought that's what this video was about, go ahead and click off this video because that is not what it is. If you've been following me for a while, you know that's not even what I am about. If you feel the need to bash people in the comment section, just know that those comments will be deleted because like, like I said, that is not what I'm about. That's not what my channel is about. And there are plenty of other channels that that is okay on. And you know, like I always tell people, this is a public channel, but you know, this is the cousin space. We're all about positivity here, but I really just kind of wanted to like shed some light on some things. This video is actually going to be the exact opposite of that. I kind of wanted to shed some light on some things that have been going on behind the scenes with YouTube um, for YouTubers and just kind of let you guys know if you are a YouTuber just some things that are going on behind the scenes with YouTube that are playing a huge role in just the whole like atmosphere of what YouTube is at this point. So a lot of people have been talking about it but if you guys have not basically heard really what is going on as far as YouTubers and advertisement and like Google payments and things like that goes, YouTube is really starting to be very particular and very picky at the things that they're choosing to monetize and to be honest we all have seen it coming if you're a youtuber if you've been doing this for a while now or if you've just been on youtube for a while now you really could see it coming and you literally could see a shift in the culture of youtube the minute that they started paying youtubers for it now don't get me wrong as a content creator i am all for youtube paying content creators and a lot of people who don't understand how much work Work goes into um, production, into equipment, how much stress it is really being a YouTuber and having somewhat of a following. I definitely agree that YouTube is a job, it should be a job, and YouTubers should be paid to create their content. But recently it just seems like everything YouTube is trying to flag. Like every little thing, YouTube is finding a way to flag your content and saying that it's not advertiser friendly. They will flag it if you have damn in the title, like all those best damn twist outs and all that. A lot of YouTubers are having to change the titles because they will flag you and claim that it's not advertiser friendly as if, you know, television today doesn't say way worse and there's plenty of advertisement going on on television and commercials and things like that. They will flag it if you're talking about, of course, celebrity gossip. They will flag it if you're talking about certain brands, certain companies have people who like literally are their only job is to look on YouTube and if you are mentioning their brand, if you are doing any of that, they will get YouTube to flag you and you know, some of them will make you pull your video down. So it is a lot of things like that that is commonly known that you know, YouTube really doesn't support anymore, which again, I still feel like that is a form of censorship. I understand that certain brands do not want to be associated with certain topics, certain personalities, certain people, I guess, in general. And so that is what's causing the videos to not be advertiser friendly. So then it turns into a thing where YouTubers, again, are feeling like they are walking on eggshells, that they have to be a certain image, that they have to be marketable, that they have to be brandable, or they're not gonna make any money. And I feel like that is what's making a lot of these YouTubers very fake. Now y'all know me. 
at the end of the day I can't be anything but myself I'm not gonna get on here I've tried to do that I've tried to be that way I've tried to like be the nice person but at the end of the day and I've talked to you guys about this on Instagram I realized that there are certain people who are committed to misunderstanding you no matter how nice you try to be no matter how you know PC you try to be no matter how you know cookie cutter clean you try to be there are certain people who are committed to misunderstanding you so why not just be yourself why not just get on here and let your personality show be yourself and who likes it will rock with you and who don't won't and that's pretty much how I am with my channel with what I choose to put on my channel with you know the things that I choose to talk about I talk about things that I like to talk about regardless if it's brand friendly or not what people don't understand is almost every last one of my chit chat videos gets flagged but I do them because I like to talk to you guys and I do them because I don't care like I'm not doing it for that reason if I want to talk about a subject you guys like those videos I like making those videos so I'm gonna put those videos on my channel but that's not the case for everybody now you're finding more and more that YouTube and advertisers and companies and things like that are penalizing people for simply being yourself like your personality cannot be brandable to certain companies who what you say what you represent the things that you talk about certain companies don't want to be associated with that also honesty you guys know me it is nothing for me to get on here whether or not it's sponsored or not it has been plenty of sponsored videos that i've had to say you know these products didn't work for me i have had that happen i've had companies kind of feel some kind of way about me after they sent me a product and i was very honest with how I felt about it be it on my YouTube channel or on my blog because as you guys know my blogs get a lot more reviews than my YouTube channel does just because it's a lot easier for me to type up a blog very quickly than it is for me to come and do like the whole production of filming and editing a YouTube video so I've definitely had companies who feel some kind of way about me to this day or don't you know mess with me anymore because I was super honest about their brand and that's what I'm here for whenever a company emails me I let them know I do product reviews I am not here for promotion I am not just a you send me the product and I will promote the product regardless of how I feel about it that's not what I do I know you know some people do that and there is some things that are promotable such as clothing like I can tell if I look at a piece of clothing if I like that if that's my style if that's something that I would, I would wear then obviously yes I can promote that product but I cannot promote a hair product if I have not used it on my hair usually if there's something that I don't like about a product there are a lot of other things that I do there's been very very few products that I just absolutely hate from beginning to end and so if I am gonna review a product usually there are a lot of good things that I can say about a product because everybody's hair is different and I've never felt the need to lie about whether or not I liked a product or not because I know that just because I didn't like a product does not mean that you won't like a product that does not mean that it won't work for your hair just because it didn't work for mine because everybody's hair is different but just because that's the way that I approach things does not mean that that's the way that every youtuber approaches things and I do think that if this channel and this page was my only source of income like I wasn't getting income from outside sponsors or outside brands and I didn't have a degree and I'm not actually like working part-time with my degree which eventually I don't want to be doing but I do feel like if there were other circumstances going on then it would be a lot harder to like tell these companies and stand up to these companies and say no I just you know I have to be honest but for me I just know I would still have to hold true to what I really feel about my hair these advertisers out here will make you feel like you have to be fake will make you feel like you can't say that you don't like a product because what people don't understand is let's just say that I am talking about product a and I'm on here and I'm telling you guys oh I can't stand this product I hated this product it didn't work for me it wasn't good not only is that 
company not gonna want to work with you anymore whether or not you were sponsored or not let's just say it, it just wasn't a sponsored video and you just said you had the product now you've totally alienated that company completely because you know whatever other products you run the risk of that like some companies don't get me wrong some companies will not do that but there are some companies who are very spiteful like that so not only do you run the risk of that company not wanting to work with you in the future but other companies are looking at your videos and they're saying oh this girl is trashing this product this girl is trashing this brand i don't want to send her products or work with her because i run the risk of her trashing my brand like yes as a youtuber you run that risk every time you get on here and say that you don't like a product you do make yourself less and less marketable to some companies and some people just because this is their only source of income do not want to run that risk or they choose not to run that risk and we can call them fake and we can do this till the cows come home and we can be upset and we can feel some kind of way especially if you've never been a youtuber and never been put in that position before we can get upset and we can feel some kind of way trust me i've been there i've watched certain people and i've been like you don't never not like nothing like can we hear you not like something i've been there but at the same time it's not my place i don't know what that person has going on to tell them how to run their business or tell them what to put on their channel who's to say that they don't like products but they just choose to not present those products on their channel because i know youtubers like that as well they don't like a lot of products but that just mean that you won't see it on their channel they feel like if it's not something that's going to be helpful if it's not something that they like why even put that on their channel why run the risk to their brand and everybody has the right to present their content and present their brand however they want to present it now me if i don't like something i'm gonna tell you that i don't like it whether or not it be the consistency whether or not it's the price whether or not it flakes in my hair i'm gonna tell you that i don't like something i guarantee you they're going to flag this video like youtube is not going to pay me for this video basically me telling y'all that they censoring folks like they not gonna pay me for this video and i'm still gonna put this video up and i'm not gonna care i'm still gonna put my chit chat videos up and i'm not gonna care i'm still going to have a harsh boisterous country you know personality that some people like some people don't and i'm not going to care but that doesn't mean that i don't understand what the next youtuber is going through people are so quick to give these youtubers a hard time for being so fake and liking everything and putting on this fake face for youtube when you do it every day at your job like come on we all have a personality that we have to put on when we go to work like well not everybody because i know somebody gonna be in the comments like i said people will wait for the one minute that they can disagree with you in the video and that's the only thing they want to comment on so let me not say everybody but the vast majority of people when you go to work you have to be in business mode you have to be in work mode and we talked about this in a different chit chat video which is one of the reasons why i left the last job that i was at because i am not for the faking it like the job that i have now is perfect i don't work under nobody i do what i have to do i see my patients and i move on and i'm sure that everybody can relate to this at some point in their life where you had to put on this fake face and be this fake person because it was your job because you're in business mode because that's what you're paid to do and believe it or not this is a job for a lot of people so when they come in front of this camera they're in work mode they're in business mode they're working for this company they're working for this brand they're working on their brand and they're in business mode and for me it's just one of those things like i don't even want to be considered a hair guru let alone like have to be so businessy on my channel like i just want to be chill i just want to talk to you guys i just want to you know like kick the shit and keep it moving like i don't want to ever feel like I have to get on here and put on that same fake face and fake smile that I had at my previous job which is the reason that I left it and which is the reason why I feel like I was so off and on with YouTube because I'm just not with the fake and some people will like it and some people won't and that goes for viewers 
and companies alike. That's just like, I've seen plenty of people with less followers than me have way more branding deals than I have. And people with more followers than me have way less branding deals than I have. And it's all because certain companies just are not going to want to work with me. And I understand that I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I'm not everybody's flavor. And that actually is fine for me. Because like I said, if you're here for me, then I know that you're here for me. Let me just say something to a lot of like smaller youtubers who may be watching this video or who may be wanting like advice as far as like building your channel or building brands or how to stay your authentic self and still be able to work with brands and get you know branding deals and get sponsorships and things like that stop working for free please you're not doing yourself any favor and you damn sure not doing the rest of us no favors by offering your work for free. I understand how tempting it can be. You want these products, you want these free products, you want to work with these companies, you want to show people that you're working with these companies and that, you know, you're getting these deals, but please don't do it for free and them giving you products them giving you items them giving you free hair is not a payment that not only diminishes your value but that makes it harder for the rest of us because the minute that you know the rest of us because we've all been there this is not me preaching to anybody this is not me telling you something that i have not been through myself i guarantee you that every single company that reaches out to you has a marketing budget now will some companies turn you down yes but the reason why they will turn down your price is because they know that it's the next person out there who willing to work for free product and all this happening is just creating a perfect storm for people to go elsewhere if you notice a lot of your top youtubers a lot of your favorite youtubers who used to get videos from every week and you were getting like a lot of content from and a lot of dedicated content over here on youtube they're slowly and slowly moving on over to instagram instagram is just as marketable as youtube and you see a lot of these bloggers and a lot of these content creators that ain't never had no big youtube following they took it to instagram and they built their following there and that's where they get their revenue from and not only do they not have to worry about constantly being censored for their content because you can put whatever you want to put on your Instagram as long as you're not stealing nobody music you can put whatever you want to put on your Instagram you know people can report you or whatever but it's not as censored as YouTube so not only do you not have to worry about that but it's a one minute video like you ain't even got to put out all this time and effort and production is people out here legitimately getting hundreds of thousands of followers and not having to put half of the production into their videos because it's one minute like people have to do on YouTube and what YouTube is going to do is really alienate a lot of people who started here. But YouTube will always be home for me but at the same time like YouTube not going to play me like although it is a thing and although it can be very <laughs> frustrating to see like see every, seeing everybody seem like they sound alike talk alike like everything understand what's going on behind the scenes that is forcing a lot of these people's hands to feel like they can't be themselves support the channels that are willing to stand up and say okay forget the money forget the advertisement i'm still gonna come on here and i care more about you guys than the payment support those channels watch the videos please that's it guys of course i want to know your opinions so let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video with the same stuff that we talking about every other day